This is a demonstration of the transmission loss module available in the RTA function in Audio Tools. And we're demonstrating this today using iPad and uh, using the new iAudio Interface 2 plugged into iPad. Um, it's using a measurement microphone and then on the output side we have the balance output connected to an amplifier to supply the pink noise for the test. Transmission loss is a function inside the RTA module in Audio Tools uh, available from Setup. So we'll go into the Setup module and we see that there's a transmission loss button here. So we tap that and it brings up the screen for transmission loss. Uh, basically transmission loss is going to measure uh, how good a job a wall or a partition is doing at blocking sound from passing through it and there are various uh, measurements for this, various standards used in the US often STC or sound transmission class is used and this is based on the uh, ASTM standard E-336. The standard used in Europe is uh, often based on ISO 717-1 and this is often referred to simply as RW uh, the differences are very slight between the two. RW uses one more, uh, actually shifts the bands, uses a, one more lower third octave band and one less higher third octave band than STC. But the factors are actually very, very close. The formulas are very similar. Then there's another formula in the U.S. called um, Outdoor Indoor Transmission Class, or OITC. Uh, and this is based on more of an A-weighted standard. Uh, but you can pick which one of these you want to use here and then just turn the function on here. So that's the first step. And notice that we do have an info button that has instructions also. Really none of the other settings here affect the transmission loss measurement uh, other than perhaps diff mode. You don't want to be using diff mode. So we'll go back to our main screen and now we do see here in the corner there's a little STC showing and a double dash that there is no uh, data yet available. So the first step in any of the transmission loss measurements is to establish essentially the baseline measurement in the source room. And so for that we're going to let the RTA run and uh, it can be running in a fairly slow averaging mode and then we're going to turn on the pink noise and when the pink noise is on we're going to adjust the level. The source is supposed to be an omnidirectional source kind of in the middle of the room and we're going to take an average reading here and store it to a memory. Let's turn the level up on the interface. And we're going to store this as perhaps source room store. We already had one called that so we're going to overwrite it. And now, in order to load it, we uh, go back and browse to that name and recall that file. Then we go back to the main screen, we see that there are a number of green lines on the screen. Okay, now we've moved to the uh, destination room, essentially. We've just done that by turning the amplifier over to simulate that. Uh, we turn on the pink noise again and take another reading. Turn on the pink noise. And now what we see is uh, this the red curve essentially would be on the receiving room side of the partition. The green bars are the source room. And up here, this number, which shows as 19, is our uh, STC value. Uh, we could take more dynamic uh, measurements like this, or we could also store two measurements and recall them and compare them. So that's our demonstration of transmission loss today using uh, the STC method in this case. And uh, we find it's very quick and easy to do inside of RTA in audio tools.